All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the second part of the show, uh, we are going to talk about the San Francisco 49ers and how they performed yesterday against the Jaguars. And listen, I, I said this game was going to be a close game. I mean, the Jags, um, you know, been playing good football lately. I mean, the offense is still trying to, you know, find its rhythm. Um, but, you know, I mean, they were 6-2 and two going into this game. 49ers coming off of a bye. They've been struggling a little bit. Um, well, a lot you could say, uh, the way the defense has been playing and, um, you know, Brock Purdy and him turning the ball over, uh, you know, the last couple of weeks. So uh, going into this game, uh, you know, we were going to see, like, uh, you know, 49ers coming off a of bye. How would, how, would they, uh, how would they respond after losing three straight? And they looked like the 49ers. Uh, they ended up winning this game 34-3. to uh, This game really just was not much of a game at all. Uh, the Jags, they they started off their first, uh, you know, three possessions punting. Then they fumbled on their fourth possession. Uh, the Niners, uh, their first drive, uh, they went right down the field. Brock Purdy connected with Brandon Ayuk for a 13-yard touchdown. Then they kicked a field goal. They were up 10 nothing after the first quarter. In the second quarter, the Jags fumbled, although the Niners didn't really do anything with the uh, with the ball after that. They punted. So th- at one point, this game was 10-3. to uh, into into the sec uh, into the uh, into the half it was thirteen to three, so I mean yeah the Jags didn't play great but you know you're like okay well let's see what they can do in the second half. Then the Niners they opened up the second half, uh, two plays seventy five yards. Uh, Brock Purdy connected with George Kittle for a sixty six yard touchdown that put them up twenty to three. And then Trevor Lawrence threw a pick. It was a bad interception. I think he was trying to. I think that was the one he was trying to like shuffle it off to. A, yeah. Yeah, he was trying to shovel it off to Bigsby because he was about to get sacked, and then, um, you know, it was too high. It went off of Bigsby, and then it got picked off by uh, Ufanga. Uh, Niners punted. Then the Jags fumbled again, and that led to another touchdown. That was that one was to uh, Debo Samuel, a rushing touchdown from 23 yards out. So Debo Samuel was back in this game, so that was huge, getting him back. Uh, then Trevor Lawrence threw another pick. And eventually that led to another Niners touchdown. Brock Purdy connecting with Kyle Juszczyk. So that put them up 34 to three, and that was basically the end of the game. That was basically the game. Uh, they tried to get Christian McCaffrey to score because at one point Sam Darnold came into the game, uh, but they could not get McCaffrey to score, and his uh, his touchdown streak ended at 17 games. Um, the Niners, as a team, ran the ball for 144 yards. McCaffrey had 95 yards rushing. Debo Samuel at 29, and a touchdown, that 23 yard touchdown. Uh, Brock Purdy had a good game. Great game, 19-26, uh, 296 yards, three touchdowns, no picks in the game. Um, so a turnover-free game for him. Uh, George Kittle had a big game, three receptions for 116 yards and a touchdown. The 66-yard touchdown obviously was the big part of that. Uh, Brandon Ayuk, 55 yards receiving and a touchdown. Just an overall great performance by the Niners. Their defense looked like, you know, they were back to, you know, how they're supposed to be. You know, in this game, uh, Fred Warner had a pick. Ufanga had a pick. Um, Nick Bosa had a fumble recom- recovery. Ambry Thomas had a fumble recovery. Um, uh, Javon Hargrave had uh, one and a half sacks in this game. Nick Bosa had one and a half sacks. Uh, Cleveland Farrell had a sack in this game as well. Uh, I almost said Chris Young. Chase Young, sorry. He had a half sack, half sack in this game as well uh, in his 49ers debut. And it was just overall a great performance by the Niners. And then for the Jags, uh, yeah. Uh, Trevor Lawrence had a rough game, 17-29, 185 yards, no touchdowns, uh, two interceptions. Um, they couldn't run the ball, which against the Niners is tough to do so. 59 yards rushing on the ground. Their leading receiver was Christian Kirk. He had six receptions for 104 yards. Um, but, yeah, the Jags just couldn't get anything going against the Niners. Um, the Niners were just a better team in this game. And... They looked like how they were at the beginning of the season. And that's scary for the NFL because, you know, now, like, obviously with some teams, like, they're going to go through their rough stretches. And, uh, you know, the 49ers had that. And I think they kind of got that out of the way. And if that's the 49ers team that we are going to get going forward, you know, it's it's not good for the rest of the NFL because... You know, now they got Tampa on their schedule at home, and it's possible Baker Mayfield not be, might not be playing in the game for the Bucks, so they might have Kyle Trask starting. Although, excuse me, although 
Um, even if Baker plays, I, I don't really think the Bucks uh, really stand a chance in the game. Uh, last year with Brady at quarterback, I mean the the you know Brock Purdy's uh, I think his first start, um, his first or second start, um, uh, you know they ended up winning that game thirty five to seven. So now like you got Baker Mayfield who's a downgrade from Tom Brady, and, and I'm saying a downgrade even though Brady was forty four now uh, when he was playing in that game, forty three forty four years old. Uh, but I uh, yeah I, I and and now there's no they don't have a uh, four net so and they're not a good running team so they're t- uh, even though the 49ers like are really good against the run so like it's gonna be a rough game for the Bucks um, so I think the Niners they should win that then they're at Seattle on Thanksgiving and then they're at Philly so yeah I mean uh, you know we'll see how that uh, that Philly game goes because now if the 49ers look like this going into Philly I mean. It's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a tough game uh, for the Eagles. It's gonna be a tough game for both teams, obviously. Um, you know, so we'll see. But the 49ers, they get back on the right track. As for the Jags, I mean, listen, that was just a much better team. Uh, the Jags are a good team, but they are not. They're not part of that elite group of teams. They're, they're not. Um, they're like that second or third tier. Um, they uh, they'll still be at home. Uh, they'll be playing Will Levis and the Titans are coming off a loss against uh, Baker Mayfield. And the Bucks, um, so we'll see what happens in that game if the Jags could get right. And what's interesting now is, you know, the Houston Texans now—they're a game back in the division in the AFC South. Now, again, I still like the Jags, but Jags, Jags got to be a little careful here because, you know, if you stumble and the Texans keep uh, keep riding off wins, I mean. Uh, you might be looking up at them for the division. So that definitely, uh, definitely something to keep a close eye on um, is that AFC South because, you know, the, the Texans are right there. And especially, like, after winning that game against the, uh, against the Bengals, I mean, yeah. So, but, um, yeah, I mean, for me, I think the 49ers are back. Like, they were dealing with injuries. I think the Chase Young uh, trade, that's going to help them. Trem- I mean, it already has helped them tremendously. I mean, the defensive line was all over uh, all over the, uh, all over the Trevor Lawrence yesterday. Also, the uh, Jags really don't have the best offensive line either. So that, you also got to factor into that. But Trevor Lawrence was just forcing, you know, a lot of throws. I mean, that the, again, like, the, some of the, 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 the picks were bad. Um... You know, and, I mean, they just couldn't get anything going. They couldn't run the football. Because ETN's had a really good year. Um, but against the Niners, it, it was going to be tough. And, um, and uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it really showed. It, it, it really did. But, um, I mean, for me, I think the 49ers are back. I mean, I, I think, like, a dominating performance like that, you know, you get Debo Samuel back in, he scores a touchdown. You know, um, I mean, the, this, this team, this is a very good team. And as long as, like, they play mistake-free football, I mean, you know, because the interceptions, like, by Brock Purdy, like, have really hurt them. Um, like, if, as long as, like, their defense is able to, you know, apply pressure to the quarterback and, you know, they play mistake-free football. I mean, the team, they looked like themselves. They did. Um, you know, and we'll just see what happens moving forward. You know, but um, you got to be really encouraged by what the Niners were able to do yesterday. You know, because it's been, it's been a rough couple weeks. I mean, they haven't, they haven't won a game in, almost, in pretty much a month. You know, so um, th- they might have gotten their bad, uh, their bad stretch of football out of the way. And they might be back to being how that the team that they were at the beginning of the season, you know, when they were five and zero and they looked like the favorites, you know. So, but obviously people are gonna be like, well, you got Debo back, you know, like that Brock Purdy needs that and all that. But I mean, also the defense. I mean, the defense played great. I mean, listen, the Jags are not a bad team. The Jags are a first place team, you know. And the Niners they lost to P.J. Walker and the Browns. 
You know, they, they lost to Kirk Cousins and the Vikings with no Justin Jefferson. And at the time, you thought the Vikings were still a bad team. But now look at what the Vikings did. And we'll get we'll get into them tomorrow, talking about Josh Dobbs and how he's performed these, uh, you know, these first two games with the Vikings. And Justin Jefferson on the way back, you know. Um, yeah, and then you lose to Joe Burrow and the Bengals. Like, yeah, it wasn't a good stretch for the Niners. But they... Uh, they um, they played really well yesterday. They played a perfect game. They really did. Although McCaffrey did not score a touchdown, and uh, you know everybody else did. Ayuk did. Uh, yeah, because he made a joke about it at the uh, at the end of the game. Um, Ayuk did. Kittle did, and uh, and Debo Samuel did. But he was the only one that did. And even Uzcheck. Uzcheck scored a touchdown too. McCaffrey was the only one that didn't score. And they tr- and again they tried. They tried their best to get him to score, um, which, like, yeah, you want him to get the record, but at the same time, it's like you also want to like make sure he's healthy because, like, what if he gets hurt? Like, they the Niners would look so bad if Christian McCaffrey ended up getting hurt because they're just trying to get him to score a touchdown. I mean, listen, it's great for fantasy, you know, but you you want you want to keep Christian McCaffrey healthy. And, um, you know, because if he gets hurt, like, you know, you got other running backs that can step in, but they're not going to do nearly as good of a job as McCaffrey is. And he's a big part of their offense. He is. Um, I mean, it's still crazy to think about that he is on the 49ers now. Like, I mean, it, it's it's unbelievable. Um, but, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't really know what else to say. I mean, the Niners... They uh, they got right. They they got right yesterday. They looked like the 49ers, so got to be uh, worried if you're the other teams in the NFC and the NFL in general. If they uh, you know, they're back to how they were at the beginning of the year. So um, so before we go to break, uh, once again, I just want to remind you guys, um, tip or donate, get your comments recognized. Make sure to go to the following link that is streamelements.com/gsmcsportsnetwork.tip. Again, that really helps the show. It makes it more interactive between. Myself, the host, and you guys, the viewers. Uh, again, that is streamelements.com slash GSMC Sports Network dot slash tip. And once again, uh, it is displayed on the ticker on the bottom of the show segment. So, um, yeah, so I mean, again, 49ers 34 to 3 over the Jags. And uh, when we come back from our uh, second break of the show, I mean, we're going to get into uh, 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 probably the, I mean, this I would yeah this was probably the best game of the of the weekend. I mean you could I mean listen, Bengals Texans was very good. Uh, Browns Ravens I this game from start to finish was just unbelievable, the back and forth, um, and that is the Lions and the Chargers. Um, and uh, you know like I said I, I mean the amount of good games that we had this weekend, I mean I'm trying to space them out. The whole week because I because I, I some of them I just don't want to like just gloss over and, and just not go back to them like I want to like give them you know their time to shine and uh, obviously I'm not going to get to every single game today um, but uh, you know throughout the week we'll get, get into a lot of them well the rest of them and uh, I don't know I thought I thought that that was the right the the appropriate thing to do for this week um, I didn't really see anything wrong with that but uh because there was just so many good games. I mean, because we've had a couple of weeks where the the slate really wasn't that entertaining. This week, that was not the case. There were a lot of entertaining games this weekend. And uh, and this one right here, w- w- which we will talk about uh, when we get back from our uh, second break, was uh, definitely one of them. It was definitely uh, one of them. It was probably, for me, it was the best one. Uh, it just, two great offenses going at it. So, uh, yeah, so that is what we will talk about when we get back from our second break. So, stick around, and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. 